Hey guys, what's up? Waiting on Iona and Oklahoma to get ready, just waiting on their lobby. Basically, ooh, interesting stuff from the OUA. How are you guys doing tonight? It's a really scuffed stream. Just hoping this ends up staying alive at this point. Um, I know Yoshi, who's going to be doing the POV for Iona, they just started a stream and then they just ended it, so I have no idea what's happening. So just waiting on them to go live, and once they do... I'll just start, I'll throw the POV over, but you already know, hey, Spoon, hey, Zay, happy that we have an audience tonight for like a really last minute stream, wasn't expecting to do this at all. I am not at my normal stream setup, I have, I'm over in Jersey right now for grad school stuff, so I'm not able to do much, but we already have five viewers, which is great, and it does look like we are going to be heading in soon to the match right here, so I'm going to quick throw up. The POV, yep. Here we go. So, big thing here. Um, Iona, Oklahoma is one of the prime time matches. This is one of the best matches you could have for like in the regular season. Yo, Andy, make a donut link so I can pay you for a capture. Oh, Plank, yo, hey guys, happy to see you here. I would love to have a capture card. I should eventually figure out how to do all this, but I don't know how to do all this. I am streaming basically like this and i didn't expect to be doing this at all so at some point once i figure out the whole like donation stuff and like <laughs> getting affiliate whatever then i'll get that on but like for now <laughs> appreciate it though for some reason people really want to see me play mk i'm not even good at the game so yeah yeah it's expensive getting the capture card and all that so but hey eventually when we have when i get stuff going we can maybe i'll play maybe if assuming I have time, this is the only thing I can really do here. So, yeah. Thanks again for stopping by. Anyways, back at it. So, Iona and Oklahoma. This is the premier match of Division Three. Both these teams are leading their... Con no, they're not leading the conference because they're in the same conference. Thanks for watch partying, yo. Good luck to you guys over at Iona, Yoshi. So, the two matches here are just going to be absolutely insane. I don't have the volume on yet for Iona. Because they have their call on, and I don't want to be accidentally spoiling everything they are saying after before they play, which would be really unfortunate. I'll turn it on every now and then, but we'll see how it goes. So, yeah, here we are. Oklahoma, Iona. Iona won in their first match. I think it was like 516 to 468, and that was over in week one. Since then, Iona has not lost a single match. Meanwhile, for Oklahoma, they have not lost a single match either. Both these teams, they're in the same conference, being in Conference A of Division Three, but because they have only losing to each other, Oklahoma's only lost to Iona. Iona has yet to lose a single match. It's This could be really interesting. This is like, I know Oklahoma's on a tear, and if you look at a recent scrim, it was insane because Oklahoma was winning by like 80 up until like race 12, which was Massive, considering that Iona and Oklahoma are both beating teams that are like 
honestly above what we expected them to be at. So to see them both here, this could be scary. Now, I know Iona is hosting. I was not paying attention to spots whatsoever, but Iona being the home team, probably going to see some see them open up with a runner here. DLC um, Wave 6 is not... I don't know if it's legal this week, actually. I don't know if it is, because this is technically week 4, which was when last week happened, which is before DLC dropped, so I don't, but I also doubt we'll see anything of them, but hey, we're going to be getting right into it now, and just seeing what these teams open up with. We had the Iona POV, by the way, if that wasn't clear, we're watching Yoshi's stream, so really excited. Ed! Oh, that's a pick. Unless I'm watching the other stream and I have, like, everything messed up in my head, which would be unfortunate, but it's possible, but... We'll get a quick look to see like where these teams are going. I would have expected maybe it's DKJ. We're, okay, we are going to be going to Ed. So, not my favorite track, but hey, if it works for them, it works for them. It looks like Iona is going to be starting top five-ish, just off the looks of it, which is a very strong start. And I do remember, yes, okay, we already see a lot of Cat Cruiser adepts, and we're also seeing some... A lot of character diversity here. We see the gold Mario and the blue Falcon as well. So this is potentially really interesting. You see a lot of Cat Cruiser now. They didn't get the invincibility nerfs that the Teddy Buggy did. So I get to see some of those early adapters here. Watching Yoshi on the in on the Yoshi bike. Funny enough, also playing pink Yoshi. Gotta have it go in 10. Not able to really secure anything here, which could be massive also my internet in this place is not ideal so there will be occasional buffering that is on my end but i am sorry about that but yeah so oh it's unfortunate to be there as well but you're also going to witness now the differences of bagging because now we actually get to see us more here and you see what happens you already get for the banana pole when you're bagging like, traditionally and i think seeing that like how you're going to be able to break that habit is going to be critical, especially when you actually have to start playing for the back. From this point now, it's just like going forward as much as you can here. You're getting, going to get green there? That is insane. Unfortunate for Yoshi right here. I can't tell, but you see, oh, bottom two for Iona right now. This could be scary here. Well, they're going to have half odds then. Going to really be able to control in case they get shock and all that. And depending on who's up there, you see that Daisy and the Blue Yoshi are just absolutely on a tear right now. We're running away from the rest of the pack. And that is just absolutely horrifying right now for either team to try and catch up. Now, this is not typically a strong runner. But by the way they're playing, it really looks like one. You see that, oh, that's a yeah three members of Iona in like the bottom five-ish. And you see that Pekadessa has the Reds over and eight for Oklahoma very scary situation here and you see not really having a, a ton of potential options here Golden's going to be able to protect with the horn just forcing pressure forcing Yoshi to go wide here but again, avoid that red having to burn through the gold now and you see the build coming up from Cito it could be good here not going to be able to secure a box though but Yoshi's already climbing up into six here on lap three this is a interesting situation here we see the run with the bumble from oklahoma is around like the fourth place third place area right here it's gonna pull shrooms massive pull this could be big right here and the blue is going to come out late but that could be a monumental push right here wow okay at least a four, three four for oklahoma but a top two so one two five six seven eleven you know what i had my doubts but i guess they can run ed so props to iona for starting off strong here without ray a plus 18 right off the bat and you know if they can do that on a course that isn't seen as like a really strong traditional leader i'm very interested to see what they do going in if they get this next pick so I'm looking, I think Snespo is one of their more common runners here. So I would be happy to see that come out for Iona. Not too sure though, but we'll take a look. Yeah. Ooh, Snespo and DKJ. Nice. I have to quick respond to messages from Moravian's team because they are talking about stuff. And you get Snespo. That's very good here. We know Iona's very comfortable on this track. So, 
this could be a massive way to just add to this point differential already. A plus 18, it's a great start to a mo to any like event, especially here and knowing that Oklahoma and Iona are like really strong teams like in comparison. This could be a big thing. Oh my god, switch to Funky Kong already? Whoa, Funky Kong B dash here is not the character selection I was expecting to see here today, but I'm happy to see it. Now here, got a great runner here, honestly, and you see that it does look like Frank. I think it's Franken in the who's playing Daisy, or maybe it's Cito from Iona. Either way, Iona is still holding on the tops right here, which is good. Okay, Cito is the Peach Ed. I think that's yeah, Franken, and that's going to lead to a potential top three here for Iona. Going to be potentially massive, but massive just to be able to secure this. Because you see this kind of running potential they're going to be able to have here. This is a course where there's not a lot of like shortcuts. Once you just get a chance to run, you just run like crazy. And that's what they're planning on doing right here. So you see, see he's going to go for doubles, going to look to get some protection. I don't know if they still have third, but having top two alone is going to be very scary. And you see Franken just going, running this track. It's all you got to do, especially if you have teammates behind you who are going to be able to provide good support. That's imp imperative to good success on the track. And you see the triple greens out from Cito in third, just having a defensive wall. And it's going to make this really difficult for Oklahoma to break through this formation. They're going to need blue. They're going to need some, maybe even shock at this point, but it's lap three and poli poles are going to be important now. I don't think they have the distance to really pull anything crazy. And you see that Iona's just gone at this point. Frank, oh yeah, even Cito. There's the blue shell coming out. But I think that might, I don't even know who was holding that blue because that blue shell is going to just go right past the line. And that's an eat, at least a top two again for Iona. Interesting. So, so top two, four, six, 10, 12. That's another winning race. Props too. I think that was Cito in the back holding the blue shell for Franken and Yoshi just across easily. And that top two, four, six, gonna lead to another plus 12, making them already up 30 after race two. Iona's starting to really get what they want here, which is very important for them. Excited to see what, they could, what they're bringing up next. Royal. Okay, Royal is an interesting pick here because some teams like to run Royal. I'm a big fan of running Royal in like a solo one situation because like I think you can use it as a hybrid of a runner, hybrid as a bagger. But traditionally, a lot of teams will typically use it more for like those mixed spots, trying to like figure out bagging instead. And DKJ here, once again for Oklahoma, I think it DKJ actually works better for Iona instead of Oklahoma because like if you can super balance, top two four is a very strong situation and we're gonna go with a dkj so i think for iona this is probably a good track for them i do we do realize that um yoshi does have the yoshi bike so they can't super bounce but based on how iona is playing i think she, they should be fine anyways you see um oklahoma the funky kong's gonna be able to just get right up there immediately a couple people, I think, not opting for Super Bounce here. And you see Yoshi in six. And the pack is very tight right here. Not really able to establish much formation or establish much of any position. But there's at least a couple members of Oklahoma in, like, the top four range right here. It looks like Oklahoma is going to run off and get into a top two here, which very good positioning for them. Is that, I can't remember. That's, okay, no, that's Gold AJ, who is in the Blue Falcon right there, is going to move up in the second it's a 1-3 now for Oklahoma. <laughs> what a trail. And oh, it's unfortunate that they're going to be able to fall off. But it's massive there. Because you're looking at, oh, it's a bottom three now for Iona. This is exactly what you want for Oklahoma. Oklahoma is like, on this track, you can just run away if you're able to. Just, if you just know how to play the track. And I think Oklahoma is confident enough and good enough on comfortable to be able to do that here. Got to avoid that green. Gochi... Yoshi, and I think that's another member of Iona still in bottom three. And this is a track where tops can get a lot of just leeway just by running once they're able to. And you're looking at the star that's going to be rough, but JWT uh, was one of the interviews interviewees from Oklahoma last week putting in the work right here. And I think 
I think Franken has moved up into like second for Iona, which is going to help break into the tops. But the Gold Mario is still up there as well in one and being comfortable. There's two Yoshi bikes here, and one of them is holding blue. Iona is holding blue. Okay, so I'm assuming Iona is going to be able to either take first here or they're in first already. And that's a rough back, but hey, bottom two at least for Iona right now. Gonna have the star, gonna look to pop gold and also eventually not probably gonna be forced to a bottom spot here, which is a shame. But if their teammates are able to catch up for them, that will be crazy for them. And it's a bottom three, it looks like for Iona. So this could be potentially scary here. Hey, Angle, nice to see you. And wow, okay. Taking a look here. Okay, Oklahoma Rhino Bites is going to get like 11 to 12. But top 2, 7, 8, 11, 12. That's a relatively even race. Maybe a top 2 is just very strong to have. And for, yeah, that's an even race. Good job for Iona for being able to get tops. And they've been able to do that this entire match so far. Even only in race three, just like having the ability to just run away is so strong. And now we're looking at the Yoshi Valley reset for Oklahoma. Not, not a huge fan of Yoshi Valley, I'll be quite honest. I think three, four, they have three, they have three, four, five, six. Could have opted for some drafter, I think, but they're going to get the Yoshi Valley. And especially with the changes in bagging, I'm so interested to see how these teams are playing this now. This track especially is going to be potentially very different compared to like how it was a couple days ago. Now that you have less, ba less bagging, but bagging still a thing. It's just you have to approach it very differently. Shout out to the, oh, the Funky Kong from Oklahoma. Actually being able to use that is really cool here. Especially seeing it now. We see a few Peachettes as well. And the pack is going to be close like expected. And the, you got some people running here just like going away just trying to figure some stuff out just trying to jostle for position here <laughs> yeah funky kong is absolutely hype and it looks like the top three immediately for iona kind of looks like they're going to accidentally trail their teammate here which isn't ideal but you're looking at a very comfortable run right here now obviously this isn't the best like the most the safest runner in the world considering you have this ending cut up ahead and then you got a bunch of opportunities for shock and a bunt and like other power items, but a top three for Iona here is very already really prevalent. And they have the bomb in pocket. This could be very scary here. Now that trail is going to be rough. I wonder if we're going to see a back from Yoshi. I don't know if that was a lag. Oh, no, it looks like Rhino probably was going to be able to attack from there, which is really strong for them. So Team two once again for Iona. Never mind commentator's curse as it looks like Rhino Bites from Oklahoma is going to be able to move up into second. The red shell is going to take away Yoshi's red shell. And now looking at a 1-3 at least. Ooh, and now it's a 2-4-5 from Oklahoma. We're going to move up to the 2-3-4 position here. Going to take the, the ramp over on the right side uh, instead of going for the more typical shroom cut. But... Ooh, good good use of back cam right here, just trying to get them away. And it, it's a lot of people in tops for um, Iona. I think that's like a 1, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, almost all of them are up here. I don't know if Shock is in play for Oklahoma right now. You don't see Rhino. Oh my gosh, you see the red the bill already coming up there. It, now it's, this is looking like a top 4, honestly, for... For Iona, yeah, it's a top four. Top five, at least. The blue shell's going to come out. I don't know if that's going to be enough to really change much of the position here. But, okay, Golden's going to be able to move up into second, but that was at least a 1-3, I think, for Iona. 1-3-4-5-6-8. Wow. Iona's running presence is just so good like right now i am stunned like this is a course that is especially not a runner that is there's you running yoshi valley is unheard of and they are making it work i am 
crazy. There is no more. And I'm curious to see what is Iona thinking right now. I do, I do good. If I burn yeah, out, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Don't burn out. Do not burn out. Just be my fault burning out, dude. Like, all right, I'm Squeaky. Sure. Oh, I've never squeaky. seen Squeaky. Okay. I've never seen. We've never played Squeaky in Ward. Okay. Squeaky. Uh, we we played Squeaky. Yeah. No, we did. We did. Um, that, that was one. Of, yeah, and that, that was the time we sucked. Yeah. So we, 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 yeah in the scrim. That was all right. All right. Just lock in. Dial in. And you know that they got Royal now, and you know that they've been picking Royal a lot lately, too. So they've been running every track extremely well. Iona has been absolutely on point tonight. Like, they don't, yeah, as I mentioned in chat, they don't have to practice shock plays. You don't, you see why. Everyone on this team is just such a competent runner. Like, I've never seen, you don't see a lot of college teams always opt to go for the aggressive, we're going to run, we're going to play from the tops, and you make that our play style. But it's, and you never, and you don't see a lot of teams do it well. But Iona is doing so well with this play style. And I'm wondering for Oklahoma, if there's, what are they going to do to change things up here? Maybe on Royal. Now, bagging is obviously a bit different now, but like, Still, potentially, like, sending someone, like, to just stay farther back and just go through sets normally could be the play here. Because you're looking at what Iona is doing. Really just establishing this position. And they're looking like that's four people in the top six. The fire is going to be able to take them a few people out. And the ghost has triple greens, making this an absolutely terrifying situation to be in in the pack. And you go, Yoshi with a great horn there. Now in ninth place with a red shell. Not ideal item-wise, but... Especially with Franken over in eighth as well. Rumble the Bumble is going to be taken out here. And Taika Desta is going to be trailed. And there's a star in play now. But the back rang is going to be great. And me love to see the Funky Kong putting in the work here. Golden is going to be able to go for the wide double here. Meaning that Yoshi's going to be able to take the tighter double. And now she's going to be able to cut up ahead here. I don't know exactly what the rest of the spots are, but it's looking like a relatively more even pack right here. You see a 4-5. You see JWT from Oklahoma in third. Triple Reds coming out. Using them, I think, at this point for defense, there's a shock coming out. And you, there's at least a couple people from Oklahoma in a dodge right there. The Funky Kong being one. Brutus going to be able to keep going, and JWT is going to be able to secure doubles. Well, is that another shot? Yes, it is! Rhino Bite punishing Iona hard here, and I think they're going to be able to start working their way up, and this is big for Oklahoma to really do this after if they're able to hold. Yes, there's. I think we're going to be seeing, is that Funky Kong in first place? Are we going to see a Funky Kong in first place? Can you imagine the hype that's going to be just to see. Oh, I think, yeah, we're going to see it. Funky Kong is going to get first place. This is the everything that matters right here. And I think that's exactly what you want to see if you're Oklahoma. So a two, four, five, eight, nine. I'm going to. I think it was like two, four, five, eight, nine, eleven. Could be wrong on that last spot, but like. Two four five. That was a two four five eight nine eleven. That I think I saw. That means Iona. That was a minus two. So good stuff for Oklahoma. Just being able to secure some top presences in this time. And there's still plenty of match left. They're only down fifty four, and we're still in the first half. I'm wondering what's the play here from either team. Okay, like some sort of drafter here. Some like oh, hey, a music park as a way to counteract one. I know people typically see Music Park as a runner, but with Iona's just play style, if they're able to just outrun Oklahoma on like, it doesn't matter what their starting spot is, but I think we're going to be seeing RMP here. I was low-key hoping to see Squeaky Queen Sprint. I will not lie. I love that track, but I also love some Music Park. For Oklahoma, this is big. What are they going to be able to do there? They have first and third. Now, obviously, third is an um, Yoshi bike, so that's not ideal because they can't super bounce, and Funky Kong is sadly not as meta. But 
if Oklahoma is able to make a big statement on here, this is going to be massive, especially because going into the second half, getting some momentum is exactly all they need to turn this around. A 54-point difference isn't crazy. Going to look to take that trick right there. Trying to see. see. I typically don't actually see a lot of inward POVs for Music Park especially, so I'm really interested to see how Yoshi plays this, knowing that this is considered to be a bit of an anti-inward track because of the fact that they can't super bounce. And you see that Funky Kong's still holding on to one for Oklahoma. I am sorry I'm to their player for just referring to them as, oh, what a banana shot onto Taika Dessa from Yoshi. And now it's a 2-3 at least for Iona. And it's just Funky Kong, Oklahoma in one, which could be disastrous here. That's going to be late to a late trail. Oklahoma starting to work their way up, trying to figure out a way to support their runs. But I think that actually is going to result in... Yeah, I, okay, no. Iona is still in 2-3, it looks like. And I think, yeah, Oklahoma is still in first place. Golden, JWT, is going to try to do what they can here. Yoshi's going to have the triple greens, though, in 7, just forcing, putting a ton of pressure on their tops. Uh, putting a ton of pressure on people in this pack. JWT is going to get hit out, and that's one already. Busho is going to come out, but you see the Funky Kong has a massive lead so far. Which is just absolutely painful. The shot comes out, looks to cancel blue. What a play, actually. Which is going to be very good here, because now it looks like it's an 11. 11 is Oklahoma, but it does look like I think Oklahoma is going to be able to at least secure first, which will be massive here. A couple other people from Oklahoma in like the 9, 10, 11, though, which could make things a bit harder in terms of like gaining points. But getting this first is going to be at least a good way to get some startings going here. Got to be a rough balance on that boost pad, sadly. But let's take a look here. 2, 3, 5, 8, 11, 12. That's like close to even, I think, as well. That's going to result in a bit of a loss here for Iona. So, okay, heading into the second half, we see that Oklahoma is down 48. Iona's running presence has been really strong this entire first half here, but... Oklahoma started to whittle the way down at the league. Keep in mind, I might have missed like a spot or two. So take the score up there with a grain of salt. We'll add up points at the end also. Pinball. Ooh, <laughs> squeaky. Okay, I like these picks, honestly. I'm a bit surprised at the squeaky pick for Oklahoma. Picking it in a potential 1-4 situation. I think Toad Harbor actually would have made more sense for them. And Pinball. You don't see either of these courses picked very often anymore. So I'm excited to see if we get some pinball out. Get some Waluigi pinball here. Excited to see like what they're going through. We might take a quick deep dive into the Iona comms during this. Because it's a long race. Excited to see what we got coming from both these teams here. Not going to be able to get full startup boost, sadly. And you see a couple players just not getting the startup boost at all. They're probably burning out. Scars has typically been seen as like a super hard runner. So with the way Iona's playing, the way Iona likes to play, you can see them doing well here. See, it's a pack of this is going to get knocked down by the pinball, sadly. JWT just trying to do what they can. It's a 2 3, at, oh, at least a top two, I think, potentially for Oklahoma. <laughs> Oh, potentially even more actually coming up. But actually, no, it's going to lead to a 2-3-4. Yeah, 2-3-4 for Iona here. Oklahoma, I think, is going to be still in tops. Not for my, probably not for long. They're going to be holding a mushroom. Oh, but it does look like that's going to be absolutely painful of a punish. Because now the top two situation for Iona, as we take a deep dive into what they're saying in the comms. Hey, White Yoshi Horn. Um, okay. I'm trailing. I'm taking it. Now. Got him. I'm going wide. I'm going to try to get rid of him. I killed him. I killed him anyway. 
Fredo's here. Fredo, why Yoshi? I have a second red Is there anyone in, in the front? Right. Okay, no, okay, we're good. We got it. Okay, it's shut the fuck up. Damn. Okay. Oh, sorry, I just. Alright, top two. Yeah, top two. Um, guys, I'm trapping three, middle after four. this panel. Uh, I saw that too late. I got, I got horn in fourth. Go to horn in third. Be careful. I, 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 I have a horn. Cameron. I mushroom can't. Uh, no, I, I, have, I have a horn. I have a horn. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just telling you, I have mushroom second. Even if I get food, it's in pocket. I got. Awesome. Oh, wait. Speaking uh, of food, I got food. Someone's on the table. Alright, we got top three. Top four, I'm right behind you. I missed it. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I hit one of them though. You guys got it. Oh boy, I'm really sweating this one, boys. Oh god, please. Come on. Well, uh, guys, I'm getting Mario Kart. Right, I got food for it. Yeah, we see a top four at least now, I think, for Iona. And if they're going to be able to keep this run, especially without any shock looking to like to be in play, this could be. A massive win. This is going to be a massive win for Iona here. And they have triple greens in pocket. Yoshi's going to whip those out right now. Offering some defense to protect the people in top three. He's going to be able to secure a potential top four here. The pinball once again is going to make this rough. And the bomb also going to take down a member of Iona. And now it's a ghost. Going to look at how <laughs> Yoshi's going to be having an absolutely rough time here in the back. But that's looking like still a very good race for... For Iona, at least that would be a top two. Top two, seven, eight, eleven, twelve. Seven, eight, ten, twelve. That's actually closer to even, I think, than we thought. Plus two for Iona. And you saw how strong they were holding on to tops here. That was crazy. Like, that was absolutely crazy. And for Oklahoma to be able to just whittle their way back in, to really just salvage that war, as, that race, as much as they could, keeping it what would have been like a double-digit plus. Yoshi Circuit, whoa. Now, Yoshi Circuit, typically seen as a bagger, and really surprised to see it come out from Iona in a top-two spot. But it must be working for them, but we finally get to see Squeaky Clean Sprint. Out here, I'm a personal. I personally really like this course. I can't drive this course to save my life, but hey, I think this is a really fun course to to play on. Really, I think it's really good in war. Is just watching as well. Really interested to see how Oklahoma uses it. It's not a common pick. Is this could be like the secret weapon they've had? I don't know if Oklahoma has been using this a lot in other matches. If there's a lot of data for Oklahoma here, but really good stuff to see from them. And you see, like, the immediate, like, difference. Like, how, who is tricking into the water here? Who's, like, drifting in? Who really knows how to play it here? And I'm wondering who's, like, in position already. I think Franken is going to be in the tops or among the tops for Iona. I don't know if anyone else from Iona is up there. We see that Sito and Yoshi are in, like, the closer to the pack, closer to the back. And there's a couple more players in, like, the 7, 8, 9 positioning as well. But around with the Bumble... From Oklahoma is going to be in the nine hole. And it does look like OUA is going to be using this to their advantage. I think they're going to be able to secure at least a few more positions in tops as we head into lap two. But we, as I say that, I'm pretty sure Franken is still up there. Yeah, Franken is now into a JWT, still running in one though. Oh, and Rumble's going to get, I think, redded off there. Not. That's a rough situation. You see Funky Kong just shoving people around. Bully, absolute bully ball at this point. Going to be looking to opt to take in this here, I think. Ooh, just shrooms into the cup, but not going to be able to secure double, sadly. You see, a lot of people in the mid spots here. Goji, oh, one of the uh, white yellow Yoshis is going to be taken out instead. Immediate trail from Yoshi here. Rhino's trying to secure some spots as well. It's close. We see that. Oh, we don't see this top path very often, but I'm excited to see how it leads because it leads into the double, going to lead into that stuff. And I think I just got um, spoiled by JWT about what the result is here. But if it's what he says it is, this is a very, very close. This is so good, honestly. See a 10 10. That's a rough miss right there from Yoshi. 
Jones, if this is a bottom two for Iona, this is potentially really scary here. Going to be able to secure that right side double. Going to look to just not going to be able to get that trigger. They're going to have to go bottom path here. Not ideal. And I wonder if that's going to be able to... Wait, actually, Fatal of the Shrews is going to be helpful here. Going to pass a couple people. One of them being their own teammates, though. That's a lot of tops for Oklahoma. And that's a massive race, honestly. That's actually massive, I would think. For them to start getting that, they got one, three, four here. It's gonna, they're not gonna be able to get much though for off that. It's only a plus six for Oklahoma, sadly. But the game, the one, three, four is mass is big because they have even with the seven, ten, twelve. These are some picks. Okay, even for Iona, I'm surprised they opted for MC three here. They're not in like reset position. Um, the Berlin pick is a surprise. Is a surprise. I will be quite honest here for Oklahoma but because you don't really see Berlin like ever anymore at least at the collegiate level you don't see you don't see Berlin really outside of like a few teams in like the high divisions of like MKU but now we finally get to see a traditional bagger well we saw Yoshi Valley earlier so but we get to see if these teams are still opting the bag as they were before. And I want to see, like, who's making these adaptations. We're heading into the last GP. Oklahoma is down 44 to Iona. Iona's looking to keep their undefeated season going. And a lot of teams, are real, a lot of these players opting to just go forward here. And I really, that's interesting to see a lot of players running this course. Like, we know that this the bagging isn't how it was before. But I'm still surprised to see not even anyone like opting to burn out to stay as far back. Uh, the pack is actually incredibly close. And if they're, everyone's just running this. And it is going to be working out for Oklahoma favor, at least at, in, at least early on here. As it looks like that's a top... I don't. I can't figure out who's in first, which Peachette's in first. But there's at least two, three, four Oklahoma. And, the, and with Yoshi, oh, Yoshi's going to trail someone. Not sure if that was her, who that was, though, sadly. Oof, okay, there's a ghost in play also, so this could be quite interesting here. A lot of players, yeah, everyone's just going forward here, just trying to just keep up, really making the most out of these shortcuts here. Yeah, so instead of seeing teams like bag for shock, you're seeing a lot of teams like really just utilize being in the back for all the off-road cuts in this, which is arguably how the game should be played, but it's a conversation for another day. Going for the green, long green snipe. Not going to be able to connect, though. Oh, okay, I'm the smart bouncer, Will. But Broto Bias on the Funky Kong really just starting to come up. Oh, going to punish Yoshi with those greens. But now Triple Shroom's coming into play as well. This could be massive. Their fire is now also up for Yoshi. I think a lot of mid spots for Iota, and that's a beautiful fire play. From Yoshi there. Three, four, five, six, eight, nine. Ooh. Yeah, it's gonna be a slight positive for Iona plus four to three, four, five, six, eight, nine. Almost a sandwich right there. Not quite though, but that's ideal drafting positions, honestly. So you gotta see some like Interesting, like, anti-top two options, maybe. So, looking maybe at a twisted coconut mall options. If you see some other teams pick some other stuff, there's going to be other options as well. Ooh, okay. I have never seen a team pick Yoshi Circuit in top two as often as they do. But it must be working. There must be something in, in play here. And we're going to be seeing it. These teams are really just using their courses. Like I know we knew that bagging wasn't going to be the same going into this, but still, to see so many teams like run these baggers, it's so insightful, so interesting to watch. Just the the paradigm shift, honestly, of of what we could be seeing in terms of like play style of this game. 
see one player burn out as well. And now it's going to lead to a top two run here for Oklahoma. I'm going to see some people try and take that shroom cut as well. Those greens from Yoshi. Really no mercy whatsoever. Going to look to throw forward. Not going to snipe themselves sadly. But now having triple bananas as protection. Going to drop those tight here right before the cut. Going to shroom ahead. Not going to be able to secure any boxes yet though. Here they are getting into double, and you see there's a, the pack's close. It's a very much, uh, both these teams are really just running Yoshi Circuit here. You don't see team players like really going for like Bill, especially on this track, because like even though the extension is there, both these teams just really want to play from the front as much as possible. You see Bro Tobias on the, on the Funky Kong, the really just kind of acting as like the enforcer on this team. Making things very difficult here. And you see Franken now is in the four. And that's, that's a rough play, position for Yoshi to be in here. And good job with the red. Running them after the set. Absolutely. That's the ideal play. And Tobias once again coming up with the Funky Kong in the star. And this is cutting into lap three. Interested to see what these players are going to be doing here. Going to look for the take the shroom cut as well. And there's oh, Yoshi's going to be fighting their way into third. Franken is in first on the Daisy as well. No, oh, but the smart bounce that's big here. Going to see what other plays are happening. And I think yeah, it looks like Iona's holding blue just in case because their teammate is in is still in first here. There's the bill extension coming out from JWT. That's going to be ending it right there. And now a couple more people coming up. Busha's going to be coming out now. Oh, and there's a shock. I wonder who... I can't tell whose shock that was, but it looks like Iona's going to be able to move up a bit, and I think I saw some Oklahomas in the back as well. Oh, top three, seven, five, seven, eleven. Massive result in that race for Iona. Yeah, it really feels like there are no backing courses now with the way these teams are going. And you see that the Daisy Cruiser pick, really hard runner there. And with the way that Iona has been running these courses, it does, it's also helped that they've been getting a lot of their courses. I think they've gotten like three. I think they've gotten like seven out of the 10 so far, which has... Wait, Part of the game, it happens sometimes, but when the luck goes your way, you gotta make the most out of it. And getting a massive win like there, critical. They're basically on match. They could win it here. I think that LA Lap slash, or if you're from my team, we call LA Lap Sydney Sprint and vice versa sometimes. The LA pick could have been interesting, but we're gonna be going to Berlin. You don't see Berlin very often at this level. And you'll take a clip from the end is Franken on the 111, really adding to the whole like um, propaganda of Franken being MVP this season in this division. And you can see why really leading Iona to a would be a massive statement win over one of the other contenders of this division. There's a there's two funky cogs now in play, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay, so Rhino Bites also from Oklahoma, along with their teammate Brad Tobias, are both rocking the Funky Kong here, trying to see if maybe that extra weight will add to that advantage. And you know what? Funky Kong being in the Wario Dry Bowser weight class, I'm pretty sure, might help out here. Why not? Going to get a rough trail, though. So she's going to slip back a couple spots. Going to be able to secure the double, at least. And a lot of players are just getting hit out. Going to get into a draft here as well. And that's looking like a top three already for Iona as we're entering the second section of this course. Going to be able to secure the double as well to get some protection here. Going to immediately trail. I'm assuming that we're going to have like a Oklahoma in like the 4-5-ish range. Just trying to protect the top three as much as possible. And you know, oh, and that red is very smart, honestly, the way to do that. Because now we still got a great top three from Iona here. Ooh, top four at least potentially here as well. Okay, maybe not for long though. Looks like 
couple players from Oklahoma are starting to work their way up here. You're going to force another trail immediately from Yoshi, just trying to get some more protection here, trying to keep this front run going. Because, you know, Iona, once they get a chance to front run, it is so hard to stop them. Going to see a few players cut up, though. One of them being Iona, meaning that they're in a 1-3-4 position, and that thwomp is going to make things very hard now. It looks like we're in a top three situation for Iona here. Bushel is going to come out, but with the kind of distance as well. And I don't know if that's a horn. That is a horn. The horn is is going to cancel out the blue. What a play from Goji. And Iona is sitting very comfortable here. And I think this will be good games, honestly, as we're going to take a look I to the last of their the call. Get. We got top three. Um, we got three. Six, six, six. I got six. Oh. One, two, three, six. Uh, okay. One, two, three. One, two, three, six, seven. Awesome. Alright, awesome. nice job, guys. Nine. We are spread. We are spread. This is this is unnerving. This is very unnerving, but we got it. Yep. Iona is going to be able to take care of business here that is going to get in the game and they're going to just figure out what their last course is. And I think, Oh, okay. So if you get the Daisy cruiser pick coming out, we see some baby park. <laughs> yeah. We see some baby park coming out from Oklahoma. I don't blame them honestly, but I would love to see any of the course here. I have not commentated baby park before. So part of me kind of wants to see it, but it does look like we're going to be getting some Daisy cruiser. Not a great course for their spots here. And just, you're looking at the results so far, and you see that 126 from Franken. Just done absolute wonders for this team. And there's been a lot of support from the rest of Iona as well, keeping their fronts in, in the top spots. And that's so important here. You see that, let's see what they're able to do here. Knowing that, like, they already have the win secured. How are what? Are they going to keep adding this? Are they going to shoot for 100? We'll see. Having the mushroom already as well, in case for Blue Shell in the next like 20, 20 seconds or so, could be big. Never mind, going to have to shroom away just to get set. Still a top two, at least for Iona with Goji in first and Yoshi in second. Having now, there's a shroom still in second from Yoshi in case for potential Blue Shell dodge. Could be very impactful here. Okay, Gold End from Oklahoma is going to be coming up though. And it's going to off to take the left side here. Interesting option here. Going to be able to then trick. And that looks like a lot of Iona still. It's a 1-3 positioning here. What a play. There was nothing Gold End could really do there. Goji was going to be able to take them out. And if that didn't work, there was a red shell. But Realm of the Bumble is going to be able to move up into second place here. And if Jones lets Yoshi pass, this could be scary. But that smart bounce green <laughs> could be very scary. As you saw that potential bomb that could have been... Massive, but oh, here's the plant. You don't see, I had this opinion earlier where plant doesn't really do much, but it's going to be able to take Rhino Bites out. Not going to be able to connect with Golden, though, at least either. You see, it's like a 4-5 five, five, for Oklahoma, at least. But I think it's a run. It's a big run happening with Goji in tops. And the triple greens is going to make things really um interesting here. See some people going into dodges. And it, but it does look like um this is gonna be at least some good result from Iona once again. Gonna be able to secure some tops. That's a rough back. Dang, what a, what a statement way to end here. One, four, seven, eight, eleven, twelve. That's probably that's actually maybe closer to even, if not actually a slight negative. Yeah, slight negative though. Oklahoma's gonna be able to take some points up though. And that's overall a GG. Great game overall played from both sides. Iona's front presence was so strong. Like I don't think I've ever seen teams run as many former baggers to that that well ever. Like I've never seen teams get like do that on like MC3s on the Yoshi Valleys. Like I've never seen teams run Yoshi Valley, but that. Uh...
it worked out. And for Oklahoma, obviously, I know that's not what they were looking for. They were definitely looking to make that big statement win. But honestly, I still think this is the this is just a preview of what we're going to see in playoffs. Both these teams are definitely going to be in there. I still think this is going to be the, the the championship match from Division Three. So, shout outs to those teams for putting on a great show tonight. And once the table goes up, be great stuff. Honestly, great games for everyone playing. So, so nothing to be ashamed of here. And hey, that was, we still have one week. We still have my normal stream coming up on when is it? Um, Saturday. I forget what day it is already. But shouts to them for that. That's going to be end of their stream. Let me quick find someone to raid. Okay, going to be raiding someone soon, but thank you guys for tuning in. This is a very like last second stream. Wasn't expecting to do this at all. But hey, thank you again for watching watching this. Hopefully to see you guys again. It's coming up soon. I'm gonna send a quick raid to a friend. It's in, intended for mature audiences, but hey, go say hi to her. She's she's been great. One of the help one of the big reasons I still play the game competitively. So until until next time guys, see you around and hope to see you again later this week.